Can and welcome back to our Ravage World playthrough for Age of Wonders, Planetfall. Now, we've got a few things going on today. We've got our forces here, gonna try and take on the giant worm and its horrendous army of uh, nasties. Operations primed and ready. So I think we've got Noxious Bombardment done. So we've been hammering them with uh, that for a little while last episode, just to make, try and whittle them down because we are gonna send a completely unupgraded squad of Frenzied in. And this stuff kind of needs to make sure they're ready to do the job. Now, these they're going to be upgraded next turn. I think we'll focus on getting them done, maybe, because Yurt needs only his emergent done, I suppose. Because maybe we can actually avoid that. But we'll get everyone into position, because we do need to get people ready to assault the next uh, Autonom city, which is here. So once we've gotten this, that should technically be the end of the Autonom. Now, I think we've done our work here. Yep, we've done here, we've done here. So that's all fine. Yurt's nice and fine on his own there. And I think we'll give it a turn for these guys to upgrade because we can't get anyone else. And in fact, you need to be generating some energy. There we go. So we'll get a bit next turn. And let's have a look. See if anything nasty pops up our way. So we've got eight turns to do that. So that should be all fine. I'm still shocked at how much of an army Volodny has. I mean, it is mostly autonomous, I suppose. So... So far, he's been fine with my war with them. Maybe, maybe that will stay that way. Or once they're out, once they're out and done, that's kind of him for the uh, autonom units, I guess. Since I'll own both cities, but there is Rex. What's her name? Zarai Lareg. She is up in this way, and she's not too fond of us. And we do have a couple of proposals, so that'll be interesting. It's probably more contact stuff. We've got a production in Kaz's Co. Happiness event in Colony. Which is brilliant, actually. And I plan on trying to use... Ooh, hello. Right, that's also on the list to get the Harbinger. But right now, we'll upgrade a couple of our troops. In fact, we can upgrade a couple of them. Yeah, brilliant. So they're going to be all ready to go next turn. Make sure that's perfect. Operations primed and ready. I'm going to drop one more Noxious Bombardment on the enemy here. Brilliant. So minus two resistance as well. They're roughly kept at the same level, so next turn we'll be ready. I don't expect any of that Kiko force to survive, really. That's that's not a, an expectation I have. But we'll disembark here and start pushing across land. Hopefully we can embark. No? Alright, so next turn he'll disembark and get on his way. Zasta did alright. He has to heal up a bit, though. But we've got some troops. I think we've got another... Yeah, our two emergent became a an engulfer, which is not too bad. Then we've got a transcendent, which I wasn't too thrilled for, but... Thinking about it, it's probably going to be quite handy, actually, with his psi powers. So, 100 energy for, Ki for Kiko Commander. Yes. Hello, Hatil Uruk. We are not alone. Fantastic news, we are not alone. And I assume that's what her propo Robin's proposal was as well. Yeah, oh, wow, hello, you don't like me. Yep. <clears throat> um, let's do that, shall we? My opinion... Start a development of an apoc apocalyptic weapon. That's my job. You dislike kleptomaniacs. I'm paving the way to planetary domination. That's why you don't like me, is it? Okay. Says one also on their way to such terrible, terrible acts. <laughs> right, so we've got our force here on the way, which is fine. You need to actually get the template. Oh no, you've, you're done. So we can do you next turn. We've also got the new hive. There are no individuals in the hive. We are empowered together, or not at all. We move as one. The hive swarm is as one body made from many cells. All are connected. All are nourished together. Litvin, swarm speaker. So we have the planetary swarming. Sheer numbers will overwhelm all and any opposition. Together we are strong. I fully, heart fully agree. And this is perfect for what I want to do with my chaff armies. So minus 35% cost or upkeep sorry for all units in general the light units are cheaper to produce by 20 percent the hives embrace non each non kiko colony that you own contributes to influence that's that's nah we don't need that kind of nonsense not in our hive so let's go let's work towards another doctrine and we're gonna activate the hives in oh no no it's not planetary swarming there we go so that'll be ready soon which will be perfect and really nicely timed so one more turn, we'll get into a fight with that gigantic worm of army. Um, 
Zarai has denounced Velodny. Okay. I have a proposal from Velodny and I have a proposal from Zarai. I wonder if they want me to join them. Hmm. I think I'm going to play nice with Velodny if that's the case because, you know, having numerous armies like this is not particularly ideal for my well-being. And I don't actually know where the par where's the Paragon? Is this them? No, that's the Autonom. Is it up here? Is that where the Paragon are? It is. Okay, this is where the Paragon has been. That's all marvelous. In fact, I'm going to quickly check where that teleport goes. To there. Okay. Well, at least this stuff is actually water so we can cross it and there's no faffing around with the teleports because that's been a little bit of a nightmare for the assembly and I actually intend to wrap that up this week. It should... I should finally be coming to a conclusion so we can get on with the, the end story. I'm curious to see how it all plays out once they're all together. And if heroes that I've used in the past, you know, that I don't choose for the faction, don't kind of become my enemy. So from Zarai, that's not too bad. I'll take that, actually. Spire of the Man... No. Because I, I want to keep that for now, because obviously it's important to him. But the benefits, I think, when Annex... Okay. Do you know I'm just going to keep it out of his hands. He's got too much already. He needs to... Slow down. What's this one? Systems infiltrated. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> I did ha so my my bug friend is not my bug friend, right? That's disappointing. Well, let's mod you. I think we'll be ready for this, but we've got. Let's check out the blight plague. Five. We must unleash the misery we've endured on everyone. When the skies rain poison and the earth crawls with plague, then they will understand us. Only then will they let us live in peace. TK Ticket, Kirko Liberation Front. I wholeheartedly agree. So we have the Blightbringer, which is a 5 resistance to biological damage and immunity to their status effects and hazards. And any units within two hexes of that particular unit has a chance of being infected by Blighted Plague. Fantastic. An acid rain. The rain melts two armor and deals eight damage each turn until the end of combat. Affecting enemy units. Okay, I was I was a bit hesitant. I was like, mm, do I really want to do that to myself? Because that's that's dangerous. So let's have a look at what we've got. Rift generation. So if I'm not the rift generator, which could be useful, maybe. I'm not too sure. Let's have a look at this one. So we're gonna get the quantum avatar. Whenever this unit takes damage, its attacker is teleported one hex away from their current position. And Receives dimensional instability and becomes staggered. The Void Tech or Void Tech modded units adjacent to this one receive three shields and gain a level of stagger resistance. Two plus two shields. Okay, I'm actually going to invest in that so we can get some Void Tech going on. A dimensional Vortex Bomb onto the one hex target radius. 24 damage with massive impact. And randomly teleported. Okay. Dim dimensional Collapse. Collapse reality around the target with an eight strength chance of instantly killing them. Yes. Yes, please. Right. Let's have a look at you. No. Okay, then. I believe we are ready to attack. So let's... Yeah, let's take the chance while we can, because that's going to be... Operations primed and ready. Okay. Yep. Let's go. We're going to have a fight. It says safe, but I don't trust that one. The last time I fought one, it just completely devoured one of my infantry units. Which I cannot say I was overly fond of. Yeah. So let's have a look at this quickly. So what are we against? We're up against the gigantic worm, which good lord, you're terrifying. The crystal basher, well, um, farewell to our own crystal ba crystal 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 basher, and we've got a few beetles, particularly nasty beetles. Looking at that, okay. So let's see where we are. So let's bring up our unleashed. If I can click, there we go. So I think I want to try and stay out of that initial range for the time being because that's not going to be fantastic. Maybe I can do some nonsense with all of their powers. We'll see. And we'll just keep moving up carefully because this is going to be our, I suppose, our artillery army with that barrage. And I'm, I'm tempted to replace or to um, put my frenzied in another army just so I can get in another barrage for this force. But we'll see. Okay, our frenzied, your task. I'm not going to just throw you straight in. You're going to have a use this time. Let's not just absolutely annihilate you on the round one, shall we? There we go. So we'll have you all wait here. 
that beetle's probably going to do some terrible, terrible things to them. But it's a sacrifice I am quite more than willing to make. Let's get you over here. Overwatch. So I need to be mindful of these soldiers because they're not all fully upgraded, if at all, I don't think. Oh, no, the soldiers are. The soldiers are perfect. It's just the... Oh, I guess it's just the fanatic now that's kind of um not amazing. Okay. Well, let's have you put there, and we'll stick the Techno Prophet here with his little, little army. Let's have a look. That looks extraordinarily painful Operations for ready. those frenzied. But that's okay. Right, well, let's blow them up. Brilliant. And I guess we'll just start firing now. We're at a pretty nice position. I would very much like to stop that Crystal Basher before he uh, throws rocks at us. Oh, come on. What can we do? What can we do? Let's actually summon in reinforcements. So we've got another extra guard. See, I quite like the Techno Prophet for that. You can just bring in whatever. Okay. Well, we need to do something with our Frenzied, so I suppose we'll all run in and just try and a battle vomit, I suppose. How many you get? Actually, no, you go there. There we go. Put that link together. And that link together. Let's try it out. Can we get you? Yes, we can. I don't think we're going to get you. No, so how about I just run you here as a nice distraction. Maybe you'll probably get munched by the big old worm. Maybe not. We'll have to see, but we are absolutely destroying this thing's armor. How much has it got? Two to go. Whoa. Okay. We're fine there then. Let's get our barrage and just hammer this lot. Well, okay, I suppose they're blinded. We most definitely want to kill you. Enemy killed. Fantastic. And I don't think we're actually going to need to get a use out of our um, our tormented right now. Unless if I bring you here, we'll see what he does. Yeah, no, nah, we're not going to get too much use. So let's just gunk shot. And they're hard to hit anyway. So that's everybody. Let's have a look at what we can bring. I think Acid Rain could be an interesting one to use. Oh, we got it. <laughs> Marvellous. Right, so their armour has just simply been destroyed even further. And we'll end the turn. Unit is falling. Well, that's our... Uh... Our frenzied forces mildly depleted. Enemy down. So we're gonna to want to try and end this up this this turn so these two don't come back. So let's try and take out this one. Enemy annihilated. There we go. And I think I'll just send in the last units just to throw themselves at it. See if they can get it. They almost did actually. That's not too bad. And I guess we'll just bombard it. There we go. Units is for the enemies of the hive have been defeated. That's worth sacrificing my frenzied for that. All but one frenzied have died. Okay. Objective completed. Well, you know what? That one frenzied can now be the the building blocks of a new, stronger army. So you've earned yourself a reward. How much we give you? Let's give you that. There you go. You've earned a place in the main hive. You've you've done your your service. I'm impressed. So we'll get everyone down here. That's kind of a cold way of seeing, you know, filtering out the weak from the strong. Oh, hello. You need to like not be here. Thank you. Have I just put you in a terrible amount of trouble? I think that is... Actually, one, two, three... Yut could be in trouble. Yut could be in a great deal of trouble. Though he is in this territory. Hmm. Oh dear. <laughs> what have I just done to you? Okay, let's have a look. Emergency redeploy. I could do. But that's kind of going to take a little while. Okay. Let's put down anything in the colony's domain. Do you know what? We'll slap that down here. Okay, and we'll actually find out if it's going to work. Okay, you can do it. So that'll give me, what, 4, 8. There we go. I'll slap that down. Easily done, because I can just bring them back. But we'll focus on planetary swarming first. So you will be ready. These two armies, if they're attacked, will just be fine with that, those reinforcements. Thing. We'll see. But I believe we're going to be working on a Harbinger next. It'll be the next 
next unit we go for, since we're getting 40 a turn, that should take only a couple of turns to get through. Polodny has declared war in Zarai. That was n no surprise at all, after all that crap going on with the denouncements and that. Maybe this can draw his forces away, or he's just going to kind of roam and not actually go on the offensive. Hope so. It would be nice to see that army kind of clear out and become remarkably vulnerable for my conquest, but that's besides the point. <laughs> As long as their faction leader is still alive, then it's, uh, I suppose it doesn't really matter if I take everything they have. Especially if, they, if these buggers all decide to come back. Let's have a look. Winners Bay. Oh, you bastards, right. Do you know what? We'll fight this. We'll fight this, because I'm going to use a fair bit of uh, tactical operations to do some damage to them. Like, I've got the Acid Rain, I've got all sorts. So this will be more of a chance to whittle them down. And I don't think I actually have my guard. I do not. That's mildly inconvenient, but okay. So I've got a huge artillery barrage, okay. Which I can't use yet. Hmm. What's this? Proximity barrage. A naval ram. Alright. So if I fire off a proximity barrage. Can't really do anything with that either. What's going on with this movement? That's terrible. Can you fire for a rocket? You can't. Man, everything is like super weak. Well, not super weak, I guess, but like. Can't do much at all. Well, this then. Okay, so let's bring you along here. And I guess we'll just see what kind of nonsense they throw at us. Where did you get a Promethean Walker? Where did you get Promethean deck? Hmm. Oh, and they're all going to be super silly with their nodes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be an absolute headache. Operations ready. But let's just throw down the acid rain. If it will not take me off that. There we go. So everyone's now a little bit melty. I think we can kind of finally do this. Proximity barrage. Okay, well, how far does it go? Oh, zero hexes. Ugh, okay. That's in mildly inconvenient. But let's Oh my good lord. Okay. Right, let's move here and we'll take shots. And then I guess we can move up along here. Take shots. We almost got you actually. That's that's fine. That's that's fine. And we'll missile you, I think. Yeah. We'll try to get rid of the little ones first. Staggered. Fantastic. Let's try to knock out these drones. No, don't miss. Okay. We got one down. I think we can do a little bit of damage to these ones, maybe. Let's have a look. Not too bad, actually. Not too shabby. So let's bring you up here. There we go. Stagger you. And I suppose nothing's really in range yet, is it? No. So I'll keep you back just to unleash the fire. We'll end the turn. Oh, that's that's an awful thing to have on your abilities. I can't say I'm a fan. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, that would explain it, and it's also a bit of a waste down. from my hive. Well, that's pretty handy. So, what we can do is just say a few, by the looks of it. And I think I can fire a missile here. Enemy killed. Yes, I can. Enemy eliminated. There's one, and let's go for another. Enemy annihilated. So, Joe, you know, we've we've done a decent account of ourselves. We've we've hammered a fair bit of them. And what can I do here? Joe, you know, we'll go for the the group damage. There we go. And then let's hit hmm. corrosive detonator. See, that's not going to kill you though, is it? But why not? There you go, you're completely out of turns now. So there's that, I guess. Hmm. Oh, that's so frustrating. <laughs> See what nonsense they throw. Yeah, everything's now fully healed. Those things are so strong. Well, at least we've got that. But that's interesting to see how um that will that does work, because it's pretty handy. Right, what can we actually try and kill? Let's try Gyu. Yeah, I think we'll try and focus on you first. And 
so you can... Hmm. I guess you can come back to ram this. You can... Nope, not that one. Go for the uh, naval ram. And try splash. Enemy destroyed! Oh, we actually got it. Okay, so we've actually done not too bad, you know. We've done a... Sure, we've lost, but we've actually hammered them with a fair bit of damage. Yeah, I'm not going to kill any of those, so I'll go for the kill here. Enemy there we go. So their numbers have been severely weakened, despite probably winning this quite easily. Easily. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Our forces have been defeated. That's a shame, but we took out their flame walker, uh, Promethean walker, which is really, really good. But that's okay because we can. Do you know? I'm going to meet them at the shoreline. I'll let them come to me. I think that's probably going to be the better idea. I'll stick you at Father's Mount because then we'll be on land at least. In fact, I'm going to shimmy you back one, just to be sure. So if they surround here, they'll be in. Yeah, they'll be in our territory. So our Berserk Pheromones are prepared. We've got a message from the Paragon. We can indeed build that for you. Can I? Yeah, no, we'll wait for the next turn. So six turns, that'll be that done. Not really going to spend anything on... Oh, so you need to get down here as well, yeah. There we go. Marvellous. Yeah, we'll um, make sure you're safe. I'll save up for now. Next turn it should be that one, but yeah, let me... Uh... Push you up. There we go. Another 40. That should secure it. 94. Oh, you bugger. That's, that's fine. We'll be a little bit closer anyway. And you can just stay put. You can stay put. And we'll end the turn and let the Autonom come to us. Now that they've lost some of their more interesting units. Like, they've still got a ton of uh, these, what are they? Justicars. That are a right bugger to have to deal with with those missiles. Yeah, they've got four Justicars with they have blind on ethereal self repair okay and a level of stagger impact okay oh this is a very risky battle excuse me what nonsense we've got this in the bag that's that is absolutely outrageous how can they think that and i just saw some funky stuff go on so what have we got here one Oh, I see they start scattered. This isn't the actual army, is it? Surely not. Why have you lost a turn? What's going on with you? An unstable echo. Okay. These aren't all unstable echoes. So, what they've done... I think they've just, what, intermixed them? So anything with, like, one turn is actually an echo? And then these are the hive guards. Let's have a look at them. These look cool. I think they look a little bit different. But that's brilliant, actually. So what we'll do, we'll just, just rush them in because they don't cost us any real... You know, they're just basic frenzied, as far as I know. So there's no need to just hold back. Though that's a really curious point to put them in. Let's rush over. Are you an Echo? You are. This is very weird. I like that. So I can't tell who's who, which I guess is kind of the point, but... Uh, let's dig up. There we go. And then we'll rush you in the middle. Oh, no, there we go. Let's rush you along. It's fine, it's fine. Right. So where were their other forces? Over here, okay. Let's dig Zasta here and surround him with these echoes and I want to make sure that I'm actually putting the echoes first because there's no point in just yeah an unstable echo okay yeah but there's no point sending them out just to not take damage and protect my main ones like these and I love the fact that they gave me another gold but that's so handy right overwatch you st all just stay put and cozy hive guard you you're actually fine there you'll do fine and then we'll move over and deal with this army over here. Where are Paragon? Did it? Did it unstable echo and emergent? It did. I kind of wish I could have kept that, but <laughs> that's fine. So this is our new emergent to uh, keep safe, and to watch over. So bring them along. Bring our troops along. Make sure everything's all fine. Overwatch this way. Get you along here.
here. Marvelous. And I think that's everyone. It is. Right. So I think the same acid rain just to keep wearing down their armor because a lot of them have it. Well, this is their main defense. Yeah, a lot of armor. Their shields would be a bit of an, an annoyance, but we've got more than enough. So let's slap acid rain on. It's a nice little thing to start off with. Yeah, two armor ready. Beautiful. I suppose we just carry on, actually. Let's throw down some gunk on you. Yeah, come here. Let's just melt. Brilliant. Now then, you're an echo, aren't you? You are indeed. So let's... This is going to be horrible to you, but in you go. Savage. There we go. Let's run you along here. Just me. Lovely use of that uh, acid rain as well. Can I get you? I don't think I can get you, which is annoying. Actually, that's going to block your way. You move over here. And hopefully not get you killed. Where is our prop? Yut's not here, is he? Well, he should be. Hmm. No, the prophet's down at the other army. That's what I'm thinking of. I'm getting my paragon mixed up. Yeah. Alright, let's stop. Nope. There you go. I think this is hive guard, is it? It is. So we'll run along here. Nice little bit of a uh, storm shield. Whereas the only issue is there's so many things to actually pay attention to. Let's keep you put. You guys can all just stay put. There's no point getting our units in. In we go. In we go. I think as much as I like large swarm armies like the Kiko, I really, really enjoy. Having to move mass units like this can be a little bit tedious, you know, but oh well. We'll get a hive guard in there and hopefully provide a bit of a distraction, these three. So is that everything? Is there no more to move? There we go. Yes, I'm very sure I want to end the turn. So they've got their acid rain. Did you blow up? Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, melt you. Have that. Yeah, that's a shame. Those guards just fell apart. Are they paragon soldiers? Oh, they killed the soldiers. Okay. That's very annoying, but soldiers turn, I guess. Enemy eliminated. Get you out the way, and I guess we'll move up the next soldier. That's fine. What I might do, I might throw an emergent in just to keep leveling it up. Because I'm playing a little bit dangerous here. Hive guard, yep, you go in, draw some fire. You can, you're just an echo, so that's fine. Do that for me. Marvelous. I suppose we can run in. I should have put you next to him, shouldn't I? Here. Yeah. Oh well. So we've got some forces here, which we're gonna. Hmm. Let's just spit on you. There we go. We'll battle bomb on you. It's solid damage. I guess we'll... What should we go for? Actually, do you know what? We'll go for this um, network controller because those are going to be what gives them the, major the better mods, I think. Or the better systems. Is this... this is an echo, isn't it? Yeah, I know I have to keep tre checking. That's not an echo. No. Okay, let's run back. I was sure you were. So let's move up a touch. We get nothing. Ugh, right. Well, it's. I think it's time for Zaster to lead the charge. Let's get him in with his, his bug swarm. There you are. I think I might slap down a heal. This one. Just to make sure things are okay. And what can we get? Let's go for you. Better chance of damage there. And we'll also reinforce with another Barrager. And let's teleport up a hidden here and see if we can get you. Alright, we dinged him a little bit. Frenzied, you're good. So let's run along. Actually, I'm not going to slap down a heal yet. I'm going to... Oh, you're just out of range? Well, I'll absorb pain for now. Oh, Mantra of Life will actually give you some help. Fantastic. The only issue we've got right now are those trees. Okay. I guess we can heal you up as well. Yep, size stones, marvelous. Is that everything? Yes, it is. Another operation. 
Hmm. Let's just try to hit you with a vortex charge. And that's not going to do nearly enough. Will receive detonator, maybe? No. Oh, actually, hang on. Let's get an Abyssian in. Let's, let's kind of throw their priorities about. Here we go. And I wonder if I can knock you out of the fight. No. Or I can wax them at you. Oh, I resisted. Maybe that'll provide a little bit of focus, though, for the units. Destroyed. Oh, this turn out repairs. You vex me so. So it looks like a lot of sentence spam? Yep. Yeah, so these autonom they're pretty tanky. But it's it's not enough, I don't think. Oh I didn't. Shoot down. Oh, sure I had a right click on Enemy you. annihilated. Right, well let's work on this with our you know there. Our engulfers can take on the these guys because you are very annoying. Enemy annihilated. Marvelous. Yep, so their sun disconnection removed. So yeah, if we take out those their their ability to really do much is gonna be severely impacted. So what do I wanna do? Let's skunk on you, I guess. And we can take shots. And we'll eliminate this one, because I'm I'm I've got a feeling that something nasty is gonna be coming its way. Enemy destroyed! Fantastic, and we'll try and take out as many of these as we can before the, the missile spam begins. I say missile spam, the barrage. And I want to kill this too, just to avoid... Or just to reduce its uh, network capabilities, actually. Of its death. Come on. Oh, don't miss. Okay. What can I do? Nothing particularly... So unless I have, like, a very desperate knife. But now the network that survives. Okay. Let's run along. Or maybe, actually, if I can... Run you here, anything? I got a crown of Thrax with the Thrax rifle. How can I get into range of you? Move here. There we go. Frenzied. Do not rush along. We can try to take this out. Or just about fail. Hang on, I can get you. What? <laughs> no. Okay. Let's try. Come on. Enemy down. Finally. So the barrage won't be too severe now. I'm going to try and teleport here. Let's see what damage we can do. Why can you not attack? That's right there. Is it just not going to happen? Well, you got to hit a crit at least. You don't have weapons because you were a ravenous. That's that's what I was um hmm. Right, okay. I've sent you into a terrible spot then, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, right. Whoops. Okay. Well we can we can recover. We can fix that. That's fine. There's nothing <laughs> nothing I need to worry about just yet. I think we can also teleport here. Anything? No, we'll overwatch. So let's get you ah oh, man go we'll, we'll save it down yep there go the okay, hive lost. guard hive guard lost. did they okay it was the echo okay slight slight worry but you finally died we'll get the guards in here we do a fair bit of damage once they finally reach you but enemy eliminated what are you you're the okay no you're not you're not gonna die can't really afford for you two. There we go. Let's fix you up. Marvellous. Get you in. Oh, you miss. That's also... Enemy kill. Okay, I suppose. Brilliant. So it's just these two left, I think. Where are you? There you are. So let's try and encase you. Right. That takes you out of the fight, which is fantastic. Enemy annihilated. We'll get you out of the fight as well. Enemy annihilated. Disaster, you awkward, awkward bug. I can't use Enemy There we killed. go. Well. Our forces are victorious. I don't think our oh, emergent self would up, but we have a few expert level. Kirko at last. It's not too bad. We only lost one unit for that. So I guess I can see the, uh, the risk, but we've, I think we've got more than enough to manage. Operations, Brandon, ready. And with that ready, we have an emergent, do we? 
and I will replace you. There we go. Straight into the ranks. So our forces are done there. We've taken the giant worm. Not too bad of an episode. We've moved our armies down, and we're probably going to be quite ready to move over across the ocean. In fact, we're going to start moving that right now. And I lost Winter's Bay. Oh, okay. Well, anyway. Oh, actually, that could be even a lot better. Yeah. I'll grab this for the sake of energy, actually. There we go. But our armies are now on the move. We're going to be reaching the dwelling of Orakel Ura Hub next episode. So, hope you've enjoyed, and thank you very much for watching. And until the next video, goodbye.